What's up, y'all? It's your girl ZZ back with another mother loving vid. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on my notifications bell, get a drone a thumbs up, share this mug, all that, all that, all that. You feel me? So, today's video is going to be a bit of a switcheroo, to say the least. Um, I am going to be reviewing a independent film. Shout out to the brother who uh, sent me this film. I should have asked him if he was FBA before I sent it to him. I mean, before I, uh, what you call it, did the review so I can know for sure. But I think he is FBA. It's called Revolutionary Film. Feminine, okay, and it's directed by Matthew A. 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 If your ass could sit down and watch Power every week, sit down and watch 45 minutes of Power, you could sit your ass down and watch this movie, this 50-minute movie. The movie not even that damn long. So regardless of how this critique goes, how this review goes, stop the joint right now and just head to the link in my description and go download the film. The shit only costs like, I forgot. It's not that much, though. So go download it on Venmo. Watch the movie. Show some support, okay? We got to show some support for new black media, point blank period. Especially the new black media who are pushing agendas that is for our people you know what i think i want to start there because i gotta commend the brother all right um this is not a uh let me say a popular thing to want to 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 make a movie about of all this propaganda like man it would have been way easier to make a film about a black man who is actually being effeminized and doesn't know it okay and it's actually promoting that agenda and then selling that script off to some white people, okay? That would have been a lot, probably a lot faster, a, a quick little money grab, you know, and he might have got a little more fame off it, whatever the case may be, but that would have been an easy movie to do, a much more easier. So I got to commend the brother for even wanting to come out with something of this nature to expose this agenda because this is heavy, all right? This is a heavy topic. It's very deep. This is a fictional comedy or comedy. It's a comedy slash drama, um, but it's about the plot, like I said, to feminize black men. Now, we do have a main character who is Anthony. That's also the, uh, the director who sent me this. And he's supposed to be like a black community leader in his neighborhood. He's a part of this black organization, him and his friend, his best friend, who's also a character is in it. And then the antagonist is this white boy. This It's kind of funny because... <laughs> They just label him an extremist chemist or a chemist slash extremist. Like, what type of extremist? What the fuck is just chemist slash extremist? Like, tell a vague, but okay. And like, his little sidekick is the black dude, the coon ass Negro, all right, that's helping him carry out the plot to effeminize the main character. Now, some of the main things I liked about the film, of course, off the rip is the black cast. We got it. We love we love to see it. All right. I believe they were black Americans. I'm not sure. Um, they kind of gave me black American vibes. A couple I'm not sure about. The best friend. Was he the FBA? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the girlfriend. Was she FBA? She might be FBA. I'm not sure. But black people are, uh, on the full cast, that's we love to see it. Okay. We love to see black faces telling black stories through black productions. Okay. We love to see it. Also, I love the first scene of the movie. Um, they start off with this poem. I'm not sure who the poet is that's uh, actually presenting the poem or saying the poem, but they start off with this poem that kind of sets the tone for the movie. There's something to be said, how you be most accepted when you're less threatening, when your eyes don't carry passion, far from passive, when your speech don't feel like gavels in a courtroom of convicted peoples who want to feel more like saints without facing their sins. The strong will have been called too hostile. The weak one's been called apostles. And you know what's crazy? This is something else I really like about the film because this is about effeminizing black men, right? Or emasculating black men. I just watched, um, I, I haven't finished, I still haven't finished it, but I was watching the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan's swan song the other day. And it's crazy because he had just mentioned, he, he mentioned in his speech, like, um, talking about how basically you can't, I believe he was saying Elijah Muhammad said this, but you can't act as something that you're not. Something alluding to that. I don't want to misquote the brother, but it was something alluding to that. But basically he was saying that you shouldn't be playing roles that isn't a part of you. But the way he went about it was very, I think, tasteful. Okay. I think he did it in a, I think he did it in a way where we would still be able, we were still able to get what he was doing. Like we could see that he was effeminate, but it was like, I'm not about to go too far. I'm still a man. And I respect that. Like he didn't put on a wig, wasn't no girl's clothes. Okay. In the first scene, when he wakes up from being effeminized, 
he like picks up his girlfriend's bra. He didn't. He doesn't put it on. He doesn't. He just kind of holds it in his hands or whatever. And when he's explaining to his friend later on, he says, "Yeah, I try to put on my girlfriend's bra." Da, 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 da. You know, he says it, but he doesn't do it. Okay, it's not in action. But we don't ever see him. You know, getting bent over. Like, do we don't get to see? We don't get to see him do nothing too really like emasculating. Where if where even by the end of the end of the film, we like, bro, that was a little sus because we all know it's some brothers in the entertainment industry who was took on some roles. All right, talking about I'm an artist, okay. And by the end of the movie, we looking like brother, ain't no way in the hell. That's more than just art, okay. You look a little, you look like you enjoyed that scene a little too much, brother, okay. Now again with the antagonist, I actually like that they had the sidekick be a black dude. You know, it's black man versus black man type thing. Um, but then you also on the other side had like black unity, black male unity with the brother being a part of the the community organization. I don't know if his intentions was to kind of subliminally, subliminally put this message in there. But from what I got from it, it's like, yeah, you know, we love, we trying to unite, you know, we trying to stop this, this propaganda from these, uh, from this white supremacist propaganda to effeminate our men. But we also got to check their pawns. Okay. We want to, to, we want to knock off them pawns too. All right. We know the white supremacists are the one that's, that's making the moves, but we got to get rid of their pawns. Okay. They're players. And those are the sidekicks like the one in this movie. The white boy is like an extreme chemist and he's like a black boule member. That's it. It just say black boule member. And the white boy is supposed to be helping him get like further up in the club or something like that. Like they don't even go too far into it, but it's funny. It's like, what the fuck? This thing is a black boule member. That's it. Like, I don't know, but it's, I think it's kind of funny to, to, to like put that out there. Like, yeah, it's the, the white people is the problem. That's they, they're the ones originating the agenda, but some of us are carrying it out and they got to get checked. They got to get the fuck. Okay. Cause I like the way you ended it. You ended it right. Okay. And I'm not going to ruin it, but I do like the way you, how you ended, uh, the storyline with those two characters. And I would say overall, it kind of this kind of felt like a, a long skit, um, which isn't a bad thing because it's a comedy. If this was like a drama or something like that, I might have a harsher review, but because of comedy, like you keep it like this. They had a, a, a fake ass Michael Blackson in here. I thought that was kind of funny. And I'm speaking of the fake ass Michael Blackson, I'm actually glad they didn't use him in the same way they usually use Michael Blackson in movies, you know, which is like extra, da -da 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 -da, you nigga, you know, like nothing crazy. He wasn't doing all that extra stuff, okay? I think in like the first five seconds he was, but it was supposed to be funny, so it wasn't that big of a deal. In one of the beginning scenes, the well, really the introduction, introducing scene we had of the antagonist, the white boy and the uh, the, the sidekick Negro, um, the white boy says to him, like the dude, they're watching the 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 uh, they're matching the main character Anthony on uh, TV or something, and uh, or on YouTube or something like that, and he's like, yeah, you know, I'm about to go out and kill this nigga, I'm getting tired of him, blah 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 blah, and the dude, the white boy is like, nah, what you mean, you can't just you gonna use the gun, use it on yourself, cause. You won't fuck up the plan. You can't kill nobody, but you can't kill him. That's not how you do it. You know, and he says something to the effect of like, uh, Anthony can't die by bullet. He has to die in a feminine man, a confused and feminine man or something like that. Um, but I like the way that they kind of, um, and I wish they could have added just a little bit more. Like I wish the writing, they put a put just a drop a few more jewels in there in the writing, even with the white boy saying that I wish they would have been a little more blatant with why they push this agenda so much. Now, yeah, I got a few critiques. I'm a bit of a movie buff, okay? I ain't tell you that when you told me to review, but uh, I be I do be peeping some stuff about movies. I like movies, okay? And I watch a lot of movie reviews and things of that nature, okay? But the writing of this joint could have been a bit, like, like, that's why I had to start with that. That's why I ended with that one on the last one, good note, but we gotta bring that to the negative too, because the writing could have been a little bit better. Like I said, we could have, you could have made, even though it's a, a comedy, you still could have made it a bit clearer what was his motivation to destroy black men so much? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, if we never really got to the root from the white boy's perspective. Other than, like, vague things that, you know, every racist-ass white person say, like, we was at the end. Like, you guys, you guys don't even do anything. You you don't, you know, you don't listen to the police. And then I forgot. He said something like that, like, you know, uh, mayo babbling and shit <laughs> at the end. I feel like we didn't get, like, that solid, them solid lines that really clarified what this agenda was about. You know, that's something I think you could have put in there that was a necessity, to be honest, for the movie. Bruh, the can't... Bruh, I, I'm not a director. I ain't never... I ain't never, but the directing, some of these shots, some of the scenes, brother, if you would have just added a light, it was killing me. I'm like, brother, just add the light. Just turn the camera this way. Just, I just, I peep little stuff like that and I don't like that. Although I'm giving you slack because it is independently 
funded, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm sure you, I think you directed this by yourself. I don't know how many films you directed before this. I think you said this was your first film, was it? Um, anyway, either way, I'm giving you some, some leeway, but I still got to put it out there for, you know, future, you know, large human space, whatever. It was title cards, title cards that kept popping up, Brad. That was giving slideshow is. I wasn't fucking with that. Okay. I was not rocking with that. Or the songs that was popping up. You kept putting the songs of the, like, and I get it. They were probably independent artists that maybe they paid you to put them, put their music in the song or just allowed you to use it, you know, copyright free. Understood. But baby, put them in the credits. Put them in the credits. All right. We do not need to see. This is by young boy, something, something, something across the screen. It's, it's distracting. All right. Again, even though it's a comedy, it's still distracting. All right. Best friend. Um, For this to be a comedy, usually the best friend is like the funniest character, to be honest. Usually in most comedies, really, the, the, the best friend is the is the funniest character, if not the main character. I don't know. Maybe he's not FBA or maybe, I don't know. It's just something. It was something about him, though. I just, it wasn't clicking for me throughout the, what you call it. He had a couple scenes that it was okay. Um, or a couple lines, I think they were they were cool, but he, I don't know, I feel like you honestly, yeah, he could have he, he could have been funny or he could have had better lines. And you know what? I'll chuck that up to some of it, some of it to the writing as well, because some of the lines he had to deliver just weren't as funny as they could have been. And so that's not on him, you know what I'm saying? But his delivery on some of the stuff just wasn't where it should have been either. Like I like the way you ended it again. I do like the the uh, the ending fate of the antagonist, however. The way you did it, like the whole going back and forth, talking, and although you didn't let him, the white boy, talk too much, it's still like, I don't like scenes like that where black people are explaining anti-black racism to someone who is an anti-black racist. They know. That's why he's trying to effeminate you. They know, babe. We don't need a, a breakdown from you to him trying to tell him why you are why you're justified in doing what you're doing in retaliation or in defense to what he's done to you. I'm just, I don't like that. It's kind of, it kind of reminded me of uh, American Skin at that, uh, as a matter of fact, the whole damn movie, American Skin, when they, he nobody fucking died except for the only person who shouldn't have died, and all the cops got to live and say all their opinions, and oh, and da 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 we got to go back and forth, it's a civil discord, and nothing came about it. Lord, American Skin, egregious. I don't like scenes like that in movies. I think that's unproductive for replacing a system of uh, white supremacy with a system of justice, baby. They know, okay? They don't need to waste time talking about stuff that they already know about. That's why they're practicing what they're practicing. But it was a cool movie. Again, if you can sit down and watch Power every week, if you can sit down and watch the VMAs or the Oscars, whatever bullshit as programming you watching on TV, you can sit down and, and pay for a black man's film. This is how we get on code. He's actually promoting something that, and uh, he's promoting a, an anti-agenda that needs to be promoted, okay? Against the, to fight, to combat all of this propaganda that is coming at us, okay? So, um, yeah, we got to support our brothers and sisters who's on code like this brother right here. Shout out to him. Y'all make sure you go show his, uh, his uh, film some love. Revolutionary Feminine. Shout out to Matthew again for sending me the film to review. I really do appreciate it, and I did enjoy it. All right, man, keep it up. Keep up the good work. Also, if you have any videos um, or any, if you have a movie, I'm also about to do a book review soon, too. Movie, book, whatever, you know, you kind of want me to review, hit my DMs, hit my email, okay? Talk to me about my promo prices, and I got you, babe. All right? Other than that, that's all I got. All right, y'all. We do not play by our green. You fuck with the team. Might find your West in the creek. We're crossing our teams. We don't never miss it.